Hello, Maud Heart Lovelace. Again, it's good to see you, uh, and it's good to be together for another activity. And if you remember, I told you a story about what happened to me and my best friend, Bic, in the year 1900 when she was quarantined for diphtheria. And if you did miss that story, you can go back and listen to it. Um, my other best friend, Midge, and I thought, we, well, and Bic, when she got all better, we decided we, we needed something to remember each other and to remember this time. So in the story, we ended up making lockets out of paper medicine boxes. This isn't a medicine box, but we, you know what we put inside? If you listen to the story, we actually had cut a little bit of our hair without our parents' permission. And it wasn't a little bit, it was a lot. And we put inside there. Um, but I was thinking there are other things that we could make because I know that you are going through a hard time right now too in the year 2020 for the coronavirus, isn't that right? Yes, and so you are living every day through a big historical event. You, you really are. And so it's important to, to remember it. So I was thinking, how could we remember this? How could you remember this? And again, with things that you might have around your house. Now, do you have egg cartons around your house? I had a whole stack of, stack of them like this. I pulled off the paper. Wonder, what can we do with these? Well, one thing you could do, you could use an egg carton or, now I had some crayons that I found. Now let's open this up. Do you want to see what I put inside here a little bit? It says Maud 1900 on the outside of my egg carton. If you were to do this, you might write your name and then put the year, what, what year would you put? Right, 2020. And if you would open it up, you might have glued on a piece of paper to the top of the egg carton on, and you can write on it. And in this one, I said, spring 1900, Mankato, Minnesota. That's where I lived when I was eight. And then I said a little bit about Bic having diphtheria and remembering. And then in each little thing, place here I thought well we could I could put some memories for instance this is a rock from the big hill it's so smooth I wanted to remember that but you always need can you see this I have a little piece of paper on the bottom that I wrote where I found that rock and the date because well let's say next year or in 10 years if you looked at this 20 years you're going to remember this or remember when I found the shell of a bird's egg right under the maple tree my favorite tree and on a little piece of paper I wrote about that or or the fossil I found and it was my birthday and well it was on Saturday and during the during the diphtheria quarantine and I still had a little tiny candle from my birthday celebration and there are all kinds of things that I could put in my little well it's actually a little museum really and I can fold it up and add to it as much as I want to but the most important thing to do is to write out what you would on the bottom what it is now if you don't want to if you don't want to use egg cartons what else might be around your kitchen your house your apartment's kitchen mm -hmm. maybe an oatmeal box or cereal box you could cover it up again with wonderful wonderful um grocery sacks and then inside oh inside you might have an envelope with your name on it, I have Maud. And if you do get permission from your parents, or maybe when you get your hair trimmed, I 
think it's quite lovely to just cut off a little tiny bit of your hair with your parents' permission, of course, because then you could put that in the envelope and date it. And it's oh so fun to look in the envelope years later to see what your hair was like. Or you might have a piece of paper where you would put your handprint and your footprint. Or you might be able to have pieces of paper in here that list your book, the favorite books you've been reading, who you are staying safe at home with from the coronavirus, your family members, your pets, where you're living, what you're feeling, what you see outside. All of this can go into your time capsule here. And of course you can decorate it with whatever you have. There might be uh, some other food containers you could use. Or my grandma had glass containers like this. And all sorts of things inside here. I'm just gonna show you one thing that my mother made for me when I was eight during the diphtheria crisis. Let me show you. She made this for me. Aha, can you see what it is? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a little apron. Yeah, she made that for me. And I could just roll this right up and put it in my time capsule too. Oh, it just could go on and on. So many things that you could make and keep track of in here. And one last thing you might think of writing is a letter. And you could write it to yourself but maybe you could write it to, well, think of how old you are right now. If you're eight or nine or 10 or ever, how, 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 however old you are, think maybe I'll write a letter to someone my age who's going to live a hundred years from now. Can you imagine that? They might want to know all about what it was like to be eight or nine or 10 in the year 2020 during the coronavirus. You could write as much as you want. Well, that could keep you pretty busy, I think. And not only that, but those are things that will mean a lot to you and to your friends and to your family members and even people 100 years from now. Who knows? Just remember that you are making history every day. Thank you, my friends. I've enjoyed our time together. I hope you listen to the stories. Bye for now. Bye-bye.